Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Hisame Artwork. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to better organize your brushes in Clip Studio Paint because I know it can get a little bit uh, messy and uh, so I'm hoping this will help you find what you need better and kind of sort out your uh, software so kind of like your desk so it's easier for you to uh, get around in this program because it is a pretty complex program and it has a lot of neat features that you don't find in Photoshop and definitely not in other um, simpler programs and those programs have their purpose as well you know when you're starting out a lot of people tell me that they prefer to paint in Paint MS or uh, Krita or um, uh, paint to sigh or Inkscape or things like that and with time if you want to do this professionally um, You might want to switch up to more complicated programs that offer you more features. So with that said, let's get into it So if you want to rename a brush uh, You just right click on it whenever you right click on something it will give you sub menus and let's say for example, I have a watercolor brush that resembles um, kind of hair. It's a pretty basic brush in uh, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, with time, as you get better at this, uh, you'll probably go into the asset gallery and get better hair brushes. Uh, I have shown you how to manage the asset gallery and go and download things and stuff like that. So please go check out my older videos if that's something you're interested in. But for this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I go to I, um, the brush I want to rename, I right click on it, I go to sub tool settings, there we go, and then I click and I will rename. And let's say I want to name this hair blending. And there we go. Now it is called hair blending. Now, if the name is too long for you, of course, you can. Uh, cut out the watercolor part of the brush so that uh, it's easier to see. Uh, for me, I'm going to leave it with the default name just so when I need to explain something to you guys, I still have it uh, in the same name that you'll probably have it, so it's easier to find stuff. Now, if you click on do, that's not going to change the name of the brush, it's just going to affect your work area. So, if you want to rename it something else, you just go in, retype, and there you go. Now, if you want to move your brush somewhere else, uh, you just have to drag and drop. For example, let's say I have uh, this uh, India ink uh, watercolor brush. It's called Bit Husky. This is how it is. And let's say I want to move it in pens for whatever reason. I just drag and drop and there it is. And it actually created a new tab for me. Uh, which let's say I want to uh, move it in uh, pens. I just drag and drop and there it goes into pens. Now Bit Husky is no longer a watercolor, it went into pens. If I change my mind and I move it back, drag and drop as well, it created a separate tab. I'm dragging and dropping it back into India Ink. And that's how you do it. Now, for example, if you want to create a new uh, sub-tool, there are two or more ways you can do that. Uh, main way is, uh, let's say I duplicate the sub-tool, name it test brush to delete later so I don't have uh, duplicates I remember why I created this and uh, of course let's say you wanted to have other uh, attributes you can go in here and edit these I'm not gonna get into it at this point but um, I will in a later video let's say I want a combination of these two and as you can see, it looks a bit different in how it behaves. And that's how I've created this new brush. 
Another way you can do it is create um, a new subtool. It usually just duplicates the one you have. It's uh, best to kind of um, get one that is similar to what you want. You can also go from there and create custom subtool. In general, it will do something similar to what you have. So like I said, again, best to start with something that is closer to what you have in mind. It will be like less editing to do. And uh, Clip Studio Paint comes with a lot of interesting basic brushes that you can use to uh, create new brushes. Now, uh, if you want to delete a brush, let's say you are unhappy with it or something went wrong or you no longer need it, whatever the reason, if you want to delete, you just select it and either click this trash can here or say delete subtool. Do you want to proceed? Yes, delete it. And that's how you delete. Now, if you want to import a subtool, Either if it's um, a brush from Photoshop that is compatible or from the asset gallery, uh, you're going to click this little button here that says import subtool from materials. And you have to first put it in materials, which is pretty easy. Uh, that's this whole menu here. Let me close this. Now I've uh, shown you this before in a previous video so I'm not going to get into too many details but materials and download these are from the um, asset gallery and of course you can import uh, from your own uh, computer if you have any uh, that are compatible um, Photoshop kind of says the standard so it's um, uh, BR something, the extension that is um, overall compatible. Uh, so that's uh, how it is here and you can either drag and drop there we go, Momo and Cream or you can click the import tool and maybe it's easier for you to see here and also you have like tags and um, if it's easier for you to organize you can with these Okay, let me delete that. Here we go. Close this. Oops. And cover that option. Uh, if you want to move uh, tabs, <coughs> let's say um, I mostly use watercolor and India ink. And I want to put them next to each other. You see, just drag and drop. There appears a little red line. And you can do that and just move them around. If you want to move them from, let's say, the watercolor tab here, the brush, to pencil, again, drag and drop. Uh, it will take only one brush at a time. So just have that in mind. Okay. Where did I put it? Okay, and uh, <laughs> I'm getting confused in all of these tabs. Like, I do like the tabs because um, it's easier to kind of set the brushes. In Photoshop, it's just one long continuous scroll line I have to do, and it kind of gets confusing. So, I kind of like it more in Clip Studio Paint. And... Uh, let me move it back into watercolor so that I don't uh, mess things up. There we go. <laughs> it's back. Uh, if you ever mess it up too much and you get too confused, you can always reset the whole tool thing. So there's always that option, fortunately. And like I said, if you want to create a new tab, you can just make, you know, a new brush. Test brush. And let's say I put it in here and I got this test brush. It's a whole new tab. Settings of subtool group, test brush. And I can make like my own 
Test brush three. My own set of brushes. Test brush. Okay, and I have one, two settings of sub tool. Test brush three. So I've made a sub tool of uh, brushes named Test Brush, and in it I have three other brushes Test Brush 1, 2, and 3. So, yeah, that's how you do this. Yep, and you delete it. There we go. And if you delete all three of them, uh, you delete the sub tool menu. So yeah, hope this has answered your questions in regards of how you can organize. Uh, this is a really neat feature in my opinion. I'm really glad that Clip Studio Paint has it. Uh, definitely makes it more easier for me anyway to see all of my uh, brushes. Here I've gotten a bit uh, crowded with all of these brushes and it's harder for me to kind of see uh, what brushes I have in there because when there's less of them the image usually is like a little bit bigger of course you can always adjust these things and there are a lot of options you can work around with zooming in and things like that um, if you're having like eyesight problems for example um, I'm nearsighted so I generally have to stay pretty close to the um, computer screen to see what I'm doing but when I have so many menus and tools I kind of need to get a bigger screen and then I'm a bit further <laughs> so I kind of like to uh, zoom in on certain things so that I can find them easier and uh, to try and stay organized so that when I want to switch between uh, tools it's um, faster and of course you can make your own um, uh, sub tool uh, here you can add like a different uh, brush um, container kind of like in paint storm and you can name it my favorite brushes and just move let's say you have a favorite pen uh, brush you have a pay favorite pencil brush and two favorite um, watercolor brushes so you can just collect um, those common brushes that you use very often into one container Kind of like if you had like a glass or a mug on your desk and you had like your favorite tools there. Even if you have as an artist a wall full of <laughs> pencils and crayons and things like that. If you have like a set of favorite ones that you use very often. You can do that in um, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, I think easier than in a lot of other programs. And while still maintaining the whole... Uh, other library of uh, things that you need in case you want to switch between them at some point. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. And uh, this video was a request by my friends and followers. So as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, um, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, this little video uh, series has been sponsored by my friends at uh, Team Mana Up. Um, they support indie creators so if that's something you're interested in as well go check them out thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye